Hello, my princesses, and welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. <laughs> We're back on this lovely Wednesday, August 19th, and we have some very interesting news for you. So, I have this picture from Mondo's Five Fires uh, YouTube channel. Go check him out. Um, he's a great, great YouTuber. Go subscribe, subscribe to him for Theme Park updates as well. But I have this great picture. He's at Universal on Saturday, and he was doing a live stream. And as you see in this picture, the red carpet was back out, the Universal gates were open, and they were filming a commercial. Now, they already have a Secret Life of Pets commercial, which means I feel like the only other commercial they can be filming is a Welcome Back commercial. And that's what people on the live stream and Mondo himself thought as well. Now, if you look at this other picture right here on the um, Universal website. I know we did this before, but it shows, well, if you go on the Universal website and it shows not applicable, if you go to buy tickets, it shows not applicable for the rest of August. And then starting September 1st is the price, as you see, $114. There's prices. Now, last time we did this speculation video for when Universal Studios would open, we there's prices for June fifteenth, and then there's like NA for the rest of it. And it turns out before obviously before the COVID cases, Universal's did have plans. It's confirmed in the OC Register article about or the recent OC Register article about California reviewing theme park guidelines. It was um, anticipated that Universal was opening was supposed to open on June fifteenth because they had prices there and they wanted to open June fifteenth for the recent COVID cases. So that the prices on the website do mean something. It's not just a pushing of the back. They're pushing back of the prices when the day comes closer. They do mean something. Universal, I do truly think it tends to open on September 1st if LA County can get off the watch list and if they can get approval from Governor Newsom and things like that. Very, very interesting because that's only two weeks away. And then I have potential. Or I've been seeing on online that when you call Disneyland, the for our, res our resort and hotel reservation that they, our cast members have been telling them that they plan, they want to reopen on September 16th, which will be two weeks after Universal's planned reopening date, which is very, very, very interesting. I'm gonna actually give them a call myself today, Disneyland, uh, the Disneyland Resort and Hotels, to see if the cast, if the cast member tells me that as well. <laughs> or <laughs> someone just made that up. But I've heard it from multiple, or they said on multiple um, cast members, and multiple people have, uh, with multiple different experiences have said that. So that'd be super, super interesting. But, yeah, that's, this is very interesting. And also, yesterday, as of yesterday, San Diego, August 18th, San Diego County got taken off California's watch list, or coronavirus watch list, because they're doing excellent, which potentially paves way for Legoland and Universal, once, or Legoland and SeaWorld, once theme park guidelines are reintroduced to reopen. That should be the first parks in the state to reopen. And on that front, I've been seeing online on um, like SeaWorld Facebook groups, SeaWorld San Diego Facebook groups, that cast members have been um, been called in from the weekend of August 28th, 29th, 30th, that weekend. And one of them on the Facebook groups said she got called in to work weekends, Friday through Sunday, initially, like, through September. She said she didn't know what's going to be open, even if the park's going to be open, or if they do, like, a modified um, 70s, 70s food festival type of thing, or maybe just do animals only, like, you can only see, the, uh, like, a marine world experience, see the animals only, like, up, up, the, like they're doing up north. But August 28th, for SeaWorld, it looks like something's happening, and when it gets announced, I'll be sure to uh, make sure to do a video on it. So, so subscribe below for that theme park information. But yeah, it should be very, very interesting as we're getting closer and closer. It's the state that once again, California is getting much, much better. <laughs> and coronavirus cases, hospitalizations, and um, and even deaths, which is great. Um, yeah, but. Will be Universal be opening September 1st? I think they want to. I think they want to. And again, if they do, whenever they release that commercial, I'll for sure, for sure, of course, 
posted to this channel so subscribe below to see that and turn the notification bell on so you get notifications for when all my videos come out i tried i tried to post one every single day but the news kind of dried up over the past couple of weeks so it's been a little bit, or a week so i've been a little bit slower but finally getting back in the groove i had did disneyland construction update yesterday with the quinjet landing on adventures campus go go check that out that is doing very well has a few hundred views already you guys seem to like that one um tomorrow i'll have a six flags video on how they're continuing their hollow fest they're, it's a modified version of fright fest they're doing hollow fest at least seven of the theme parks magic mountain so far it's not included because magic mountain of course is not even open yet but i'll give you all the details in tomorrow's video about that and a potential Jurassic or Velocicoaster construction update from BioReconstruct. So stay tuned for all the information and of course the SeaWorld information and maybe Disneyland reopening too. We will see. Subscribe for all that information below. And as always, have a fantastic day.